Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. Welcome back to Gunmetal Customs. We're all having a bit of weather. I think the whole country is today. I have about eight inches of snow. Not a big deal to me personally, but uh, the area that I live in currently, these guys, they never see more than like four or five inches of snow at a time, so they're kind of freaking out. You can see all the cars on the highway over there. The prisons must have just got out. I wonder what time it is. There's like six prisons in my town. Anyway. Um, what am I working on today? It's a gunmetal customs kind of day. I want to show you guys my powder coating oven. If you're a normal watcher of my stuff, you know that I just don't really do the best job ever because I don't have to. Um, stuff, it, it's not that critical. There goes my brother-in-law. Um, this is a powder coating oven I'm building. It's 4x4x8. Four by four by uh, I built it this size because I want to be able to do frames, quad frames, dirt bike frames, whatever. Um, sets of wheels. I can do four wheels at a time in here easily. Uh, but I don't want to deal with like race race car builders and their chassis and all that bullshit. Like I'm, I don't want to do that. So I can do axle housings, frames, a set of four wheels at once, whatever. These are... I think they're 20 gauge studs. They're, they're drywall studs. They sell them at Home Depot. They sell them at Menards. Uh, I don't know if they sell them at Lowe's. I think I asked there and they looked at me like I had two heads. But uh, <clears throat> nothing special. I got this steel from the roofing supply store, which is actually that building right there. Um, it comes in a 10 inch wide by or no, a 40 inch wide by 10 foot long spool. They sent it to me in this cool drum. So you see I got scrapped, because it was odd size, but it was only like 48 bucks a piece. So I wanna say I paid like $250 for all the steel. This is galvanized. It's this before they paint it. Um, they get it in like this, they roll the grooves into it, and then they paint it their colors. Um, and so this is the outside just stuff left over from when they built my building. Um, I've paid like 250 bucks for all the steel. I have, man, these studs are like eight bucks a piece or something. Um, I don't have a lot of money in this. <laughs> it's my point. The, the insulation was pretty expensive. I went ahead and went with the wool. I wasn't going to. But they had this on sale for like seven bucks a bundle. They were clearing it out at Lowe's. Um, I probably don't have six hundred dollars into this whole thing. I'm going to feed it with this heater right here. Um, it's a Mister Heater 125 to 170 thousand BTU unit. Uh, it has a roughly eight inch opening. There's an eight inch opening that I cut into the corner there. And it's ducted back. Um, you see it's all patchworky, and that's okay. Because all this outside is on here for is to hold the insulation in. Um, so before I wrapped it all the way up, I wanted to show you guys and uh, let you see what's going on. But yeah, I just cut the insulation however I could. This stuff is the wrong size. It's the wrong spacing. I didn't bother to do on center or any of that other builder bullshit. Um, I'm not a builder, and I don't care. But uh, basically I have three across and then one at the top and the bottom. I wanted it for whatever reason. I, I insisted that it actually be 48 by 48 by 96 inside. I don't know why I did that, but I did. Um, so basically I just built my walls so I didn't have to cut my studs. That's probably why I did it. I don't remember. It's been a little while now. Um, then plopped a roof on top. So I'm not going to bother with a recirculating fan or a light or a window or anything else at this time. I'm just gonna keep stuffing insulation in there. This stuff's like five inches thick and it's for, I don't know, it's all wrong, but it's okay because I just split it up how I want with this drywall knife. Um, it doesn't work that great. You can kind of rip it apart too. And then all these little scraps I throw in the holes or I throw up on the roof. All it is is a metal box that has to get up to 450 degrees and not burst into flames. That's it. That's all an oven is. Um, I'm going to finish this up tomorrow because I have a lot of 
other chores to do today. I don't feel like building the door today. I'm going to build the door on the ground um, because it's kind of hard to get it in there. But anyway, I'm going to go plow and, you know, I've been away from home for four or five hours now. So cocoa and peanut are freaking out probably. Um, but I'm going to go plow and I'm going to come back tomorrow, build the door. And next week I'll show you guys the PID control. In the meantime, you can look at 710 Performance. They have a YouTube channel and it's all about powder coating. And that's where I got everything, my ideas from. Um, so I have an SSR. I have a PID. I need, I have a heat sink. I need some wire. I was kind of going to wait for my father-in-law to come back to do that because he's the electrician, but um, he's not coming back for a long time. So I'm going to have to go ahead and go on without him. But that's what I'm working on today, powder coating oven. You can do this for under a thousand bucks, however you do it. I'm probably into it for 600. When I edit this video, I'll add up the prices because I know what they are. I just don't know off the top of my head and they'll be on the screen for you guys. For me, I have no idea. It's a mystery, but uh, I want to say it's five or 600 bucks. Um, I, I didn't spend a lot. I bought five of those packs of insulation. I still have two left. I still have to do the door, but like clearly basically done. I'm going to have leftover insulation. The steel I used, this is the leftover steel. I got an ass load of this stuff. Um, apparently a 12 foot pole barn kit comes with way more steel than you need because there's some that I dug out of the snow yesterday next to my Toyota. There's some leaning up against the wall right there. I, just, I got a bunch of steel. Um, so there's more than enough to do the door. And yeah, I don't know, I'm rambling now. I think you get the point. Mineral insulation, mine's R23. I don't think it really matters. All it has to do is withstand 450 degrees and not burst into flames. So um, I will go through, I don't know if you're familiar, maybe you are, maybe you aren't. Flashing tape, this stuff's like seven, eight bucks. It kind of looks like duct tape, but it's not. I'll go through and seal up all these cracks with that and maybe silicone it. I don't know, we'll see. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is pretty capable of holding temp as is right now, no problem. So if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, if you're a normal driveway engineer viewer, we'll come back to Daryl and the turbo tomorrow. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on the driveway engineer.